You people of Earth, or Earth people as I call them, <laughs> have acquired a strange fascination for what you call science fiction. Star Trek, Star Wars, and now Starship Troopers. These have become big, big business. This has inspired me to sit down and tackle a few chapters in my very own science fiction novel. <laughs> It really does look stupid. <laughs> and who better to collaborate with me than the captain of the Starship Enterprise and best-selling author of the Quest for Tomorrow series, Mr. William Shatner, ladies and gentlemen. Stupid no, I didn't wear the stupid costume because I could see how it no, looked. No, you tricked me. <laughs> All right, well, we'll do it anyway. Okay. You I said just... you would wear it if I wore it. Well, yeah, but I Oh, you screwed okay. me, Shatner. I'm well... going to get it. Now I'm out here it, in this it, stupid it, costume. It, it hasn't been the first time, no, I guess. All right, listen. Right. 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 You can't even sit in this thing. <laughs> it, it takes years to now, get Bill. to touch. Yeah. Now, since you're a master of science fiction, why don't, why don't you start a line to the novel? Yeah? And I will finish. Okay. All right, let's begin. All right, that's a good idea. Type it. I'll, I'll begin. OJ! OJ. <laughs> For seven days, all we did was sit in a cramped capsule and eat food out of tubes. I'll never fly Southwest Airlines again. <laughs> The tricorder reading was as he expected. There were a dozen of them, and each one was a silicone-based life form. Yes, they had finally landed at Hooters. <laughs> there were hundreds gathered in one place, scavengers by nature, preying on the weak and the helpless, all with cold, reptilian features. Oh, boy, he hated going to the American Bar Association. <laughs> hold! Hold! Be careful, be careful, they're coming, they're coming. I can't hold it, Captain, we can't hold it much longer. The dilithium crystals are almost gone. I don't know how long I can hold it. You're going to hold it for a little bit. That was I close, fine. Jay, I All thought. Right. That was really that close. <laughs> Look, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Why don't, why don't, why don't uh, I start some of these lines, and you can finish them in hand. Okay, okay, you go ahead. <laughs> he stepped boldly onto the ground where none of his kind had trod before. He was the first Indianapolis Colt to ever enter an end zone. <laughs> the female alien had scaly green skin and her eyes protruded from her head on antennas. But since the bar was closing and he'd been drinking tequila, he went home with her anyway. <laughs> He felt a chill, yes. realizing he was staring at the vast emptiness of space, uh -huh. a total void, a complete vacuum. It was his first Spice Girls concert. Hey! <laughs> I felt a strange, strange sensation. I, yes. It dawned on me I was shrinking. I'm, I'm shrinking, I tell you. I hate swimming in cold water. <laughs> he looked at the lifeless body and said, damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor. And I'm telling you, he's dead, Jim. <laughs> I'd never seen Dr. Kevorkian so happy before. <laughs> oh, 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 the fighting was fierce, brutal, frightening. The screaming, howling female alien was the most vicious he'd ever seen. She was a Klingon with PMS. Oh! Slowly, his fingers reached out, probing deeper and deeper. It was the famed Vulcan prostate meld. Ooh, 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 that hurt. Yes. And finally... Finally, thank God. Space is very, very, very lonely, Princess Leah said. What do you do with yourself? You don't want to know, said Han Solo. <laughs> William Shatner, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. Oh. Be right back with Brooke Shields right after this.
Kijk je wel. Dat is heel veel zonder.